deep do you remember when I mowed your lawn? Mowed oh, your lawn. Your mom came out with just a towel on. Towel on. I could tell she liked me from the way she stared. The way she stared. And the way she said, you're Mr. Spadwell. That's not fair. But in a perfect world, a miracle would happen, and every other girl would fly away. And it'd be me and Kathy, and nothing else would matter. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, you know I'm happy. And it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not a problem, it's just a challenge. It's a challenge to resist temptation. Well, if that's all it is, it's a challenge that's great. But I have to say that what exacerbates the problem is I'm at these parties, I'm the center of attention, I'm the grand fromage, and here she comes. You want to get a cup of coffee? You want to look at my manuscript? And I'm showing her my left hand, I'm gesticulating with my left hand, and then, whoop, there's Kathy. And of course, she knows, they always know. There's a really awkward moment where I have to show that I wasn't encouraging this, though obviously I was. I don't want to look whipped in front of this woman, which is dumb. I shouldn't care what she thinks, because I can't. Fuck her anyways! <laughs>